how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. So you want to introduce your business to our viewers? Yeah, uh, I'm Tyler Linden Meath from Tyler Stocks and Bowls. We're based out of Rochester, Spencerport, New York. New York. Uh, we breed specifically ball pythons for different genetic and weird combinations. Awesome. So you said ball pythons. So let's get a good view of your little selection you've got here. Looks like you got one that's sold there. Yeah, few of them. What is that? Is a GHI pastel hypo? I love GHI Mojave, like Mojave GHI. We got that one sold down there too. Okay. It's the same thing as that. Oh, so nice. So that's a GHI black pastel KRG hip pie, which is super nice. Yeah, Maha like the way GHI and Mojave work together, that's just something that I really like. Oh yeah, we've got a few of them and hypos. Mm -hmm. we, we, we work a lot of GHI hypo stuff, so. Yeah, yeah. So now, what is your favorite across the border? Do you have like several favorites? Uh, definitely Pied's my favorite genetic mutation. Uh, yeah. I have almost 100 breeders and about half of them are Pied makers, either heads or visuals. Nice. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot of Pied, a little bit of Clown, Clown's fun. Okay. And then Kodam wise, it's KRG, I love KRG. KRG, okay. Yeah, um, Will was telling me about that. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, so what got you into ball pythons? Is it dad or? Um, it's dad for the best. <laughs> There's dad. Dad, can you give us your name? How you doing? I'm Brett. My name is Brett. Brett. Okay. This is Tyler's dad. So what got me into it, I really don't know. I've had an interest in them for a really long time. I got my first ball python when I was seven. Uh, started breeding around 12, 12 or 13. Mm -hmm. I'm 17 now, so I'm still quite young and have a lot of stuff though. Um, <laughs> gotcha. so what got me into it, I just thought they were like super cool. From a young age, they were misunderstood and they just looked really cool. And that's why I love five babies. Like, you know, that was the first thing I wanted when I was a kid, and now I have a lot of it. Okay, so that's why I love five. Yes, that's awesome. So I'm, I'm, I was telling him that I like the GHI Mojave, like how they work together, and yeah. so we have a big girl. And I also, I'm funny because it, it's hilarious. His Will does a lot of like the recessive genes. He likes like monsoon and yep. stranger puzzle and all these different things. And um, and I, so in between like incomplete dominance, co dominance, and all that kind of stuff. Like for me, it's about the color. Mm -hmm. And so I am like just like the bananas with the purple and yellow and black pastel. I love black pastel albino. Like those are like my favorites. We have a tri-stripe albino that we paired with a black pastel. So it's just like I'm just so excited about it. Yeah, we're we're all over the map, but you know, bananas, this is uh, oh. That is a banana and she Hypo. And she hypo, yes. 100% hepide, female. Oh my goodness, she is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I love the oranges and the purples. And she's just got nuts color. It's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, yeah. I had already eyed her from the side. I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah. And another really cool one we got is this one right here. Always wanted to one of, one of your early ones. <gasps> yeah. Oh, it looks like the pan, um, panda. panda. Yeah, yeah, panda pie. <laughs> so the first project I really ever got into, like, you know, project was the panda pie. Uh, mm -hmm. I bred before. The first thing I really wanted to breed for was a panda pie. So about three years ago, I bought black pastel yellow belly pied male mm -hmm. and a black pastel hat pied female and a black pastel pied female. So both of those females actually went this year and I produced four pandas this year. Oh, that's uh, awesome. Which was crazy, all healthy, all look good. Three of them actually hatched out like two or three days ago. Mm -hmm. So they're all out of the egg that's now. Fantastic. Look at that. She's amazing. I love her so much. Beautiful, wow, we. So that's, oh. that's a huge, that was a huge goal for me. And you you created that that mindset. You got it done. You're you met that goal. So what's next for you? What's next? Uh, really pushing the double and triple recessive stuff. Okay. I I love pie. I love clown. Mixing them together. That's mm -hmm. gonna be my big goal. I've got probably 15 to 20 girls this year that'll be in the project uh, breeding. So I've got a lot of double heads, a, couple, a double visual. Uh, we're trying to work. A lot of codoms into the clown pied and then actually add monarch into it as well. Aha, uh -huh. this is one that I haven't, I don't have a lot of experience with the monarch. Okay. Because it's, is it, there are several different ones. Again, I'm just learning yeah. now. I'm the novice. He's 
a little farther along than me, yep. obviously. But now Monarch, it's something else too, right? Is there... There's there's uh, Monarch and then there's Ultramount. So that's what a lot of people compare there you them go. together. The Monarch and Ultramount. In the industry. I knew it. I knew there was something because we, we, we talked people about it. We usually like one or the other. Yeah. So now are you... Is that how you are? You like Monarch or you're good with either Ultramount? No, I like them both. I just... They do different things for me. Uh -huh. uh, the Monarch has a lot more of a burgundy dark tone to it. Ultimo brightens a lot of stuff. It does, I've uh, noticed that. So what I do is, I kind of like the darker tones to the Monarch. Yeah. So. I like contrast. Yes. So what's your take on Exanthic? Are you ever interested in getting that since you like the Panda? So the I like the Exanthic stuff. The reason, I, I only have one Exanthic right now. Mm -hmm. um, the reason I don't have a lot of it because of him, he doesn't like it. <laughs> yeah, he's he's been a, a stickler for it. I'm not really getting too much of it. Uh, the only reason we have it is because it's in a quad recessive project. Gotcha. So it kind of just got thrown in there, not by accident. But it was thrown in there. We don't have any crazy. Back to a fan of the color, you know. And yeah. It strips all the color away. I do. I mean, Exanthic in and of itself with our crusties, you know it. it takes out yellow and pit and limits red so you're really getting a grayscale basically yep. yeah so well thank you for that thank you for telling me how you feel about it and explaining monarch and ultramail that's awesome yep. appreciate that so excited to see what you do in the future thank you, thank you. yeah awesome thank you.